And uh, what else is a bunch of horse shit, at least to some people, is the student loan getting canceled. Jess, you found a great article that explained by Thomas Kahn why canceling so many student loans is a mistake. Interesting take here. The reason I chose this particular article is because, you know, this is not someone from an opposing team like a, a Republican, right? Thomas Kahn was the longest serving Democratic staff director of the House Budget Committee from 97 to 2016. And uh, he currently teaches about Congress and the federal budget at American University, where he is a distinguished fellow with the Center for Congressional and Pre Presidential Studies. He's also a partner in the Cormac Group. So you know, it's not like he's some Republican that's you know, calling uh, Biden's plan to cancel student loan debt bullshit. He just think, thinks it's simply an unwise decision for uh, that's going to create long-term suffering with short-term political gain for the administration. And you asked that question last episode, which was a great point, is, is there some kind of negative effect that's going to happen? Excuse me. Uh, sometime after the canceling of student loans, like some kind of collapse of a floor in the economy because a, a void is left. Correct. And uh, I thought this answered that this article. It did a pretty good well. job of like, yeah, highlighting what would happen, you know, when, when you do initiate this kind of uh, loan forgiveness for large amounts of people. So on Wednesday, so this was this came out before he actually made the announcement. Turns out that this was true. Uh, the, the he came out today announcing that the government will forgive ten thousand or more in student loans uh, for those that make one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars or less a year, and then up to and then not this article doesn't call this out, but in addition to that, he is giving twenty thousand dollars to those that had qualified for Pell grants in addition to their student loans. So in other words, minorities, basically, they qualify for Pell Grants, can get up to $20,000 of debt relief if they make $125,000 or less a year, or if per household they make $250,000 or less a year. Pell Grants are the free ones, right? Yes. You do and not you have get, to repay Pell Grants. So you get double for something that's get, not even a debt. Well, correct. Um, and the idea is to offset the racial disparity. Oh. Um, Reparations? Uh, I, you know, just to a degree, yes, because uh, minorities have tend to have higher student loan debt than whites in most cases. So to so offset the racial disparity there. Interesting. So they're they're saying that, that this uh, this cancellation of ten thousand can cost taxpayers up to two hundred and thirty billion dollars over the course of the next ten years. And actually, that's lower than what the estimates are now saying. They're saying up to $300 billion when you factor in, I think, that additional $20,000 that he's given to folks with Pell Grants. So even higher than what this article is calling out. Um, and this, this uh, Thomas Kahn is saying this is going to be a big mistake because it's going to increase inflation, boost the deficit, and risk tax hikes and spending cuts on critical spending needs. His opinion is that the president should extend the short-term loan repayment freeze until the economy recovers from, from the pandemic. So back when the pandemic started under Trump, they initiated this loan repayment where you do not have to pay on your student loans currently. Can you share that screen? Uh, yeah, I'm just reading from the article. I, this is all information I gathered from other articles. I yeah. don't remember where I found them at. That's fine. That's good. So what I'm talking about is not necessarily in this article. So canceling student loans on such a large scale would increase inflation by putting more money into the hands of borrowers whose debt is being forgiven. With inflation at 8.5%, the last thing this economy needs is more stimulus. Ironically, such a decision would undo the anti-inflationary and political benefits of the Inflation Reduction Act that the president just signed into law. Jason Furman, who is the former chief economist under Barack Obama, faulted the idea, saying, student loan student loan relief is not free part of it would be paid for by the 87 percent of americans who do not benefit but lose out from inflation so once again this is not some republican calling him out on his bullshit this is the former chief economist under obama wow who also worked with biden at the time right and i know um, that you just read that but i'm thinking about all this is so interesting i i it's it 
went over my head, but former chief economist under Barack Obama. It's yeah, interesting. That's... My first thought is if I told this to people, they think I got it from some, they would just Fox go Trump Trumper, 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 Trumper type right. shit. It's, it's like, News, dude, this is right? your no. guy. Like Joe Rogan with the COVID uh, interviews with Robert Malone and stuff, and everybody was up in arms, but nobody was talking about how he had Gupta on, which is their guy. Their guy. It's like, yeah. yeah, what about the three and a half hours they did? You want to talk about that? exactly so anyway this is their guy anyway i'm making it divisive right now we're all no i I get it and we're all one anyway it could lead to higher interest rates at a time when americans are already struggling with the highest rates in decades Uh, when the government borrows billions of dollars many economists believe it can raise interest rates because the government must compete in the debt market with businesses and consumers who are also borrowing i'll be honest that sentence lost me and i didn't even try to study it early i was like that one's anyway we got three minutes so let's move on um gonna add to the public debt blah 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 blah. the legislation could the legislation to substantially reduce the deficit in 2011 cut discretionary spending targets by 900 billion which threatened essential programs such as help for people who are homeless, Head Start, yeah, that's and Healthcare thing. for Veterans. Like you do all this, and then you got to cut programs. Yeah, so this is what ha- ends up happening. You got to cut other right. programs that are supposedly really important yeah. to you as a Democratic Party. So people who make like 130000 a year and are doing pretty good get a bunch of debt wiped out, and then veterans get even less shit over here, and then taxpayers pay like an extra eight fifty next year. And everyone's like, yeah, but it's a good thing, though, man. Like, fuck. It's a criminal system. It's slavery is what I see people saying. My favorite singer from a band, I like, I follow him. And he's he's posted, like, I worked my ass off and paid off over 100 grand for two degrees. Do I want other people to have their debt forgiven? Hell yeah. This is slavery. And it's like, okay. What but about- at what cost does it come? Like, yes, I, yeah. I want that, too. I want everyone to be doing well like that, too. But at what cost? And that's that that was the question I had last episode. Like, yes, that sounds like a great thing, but at what cost? Right. People like, have so much of their heart wrapped up into it that just discussing basic economics around this decision is you pull off one lever, something else gets fucked up, right? Like that's the, yeah. the thing you have to consider. That's why and, you have balances. That's why there's checks and balances in our system because of things like this. Yeah. And they're so like politically awake, understanding how college degree stuff is slavery but bringing up how their favorite person i I don't want to generalize but let's say hillary clinton she fucking offed Gaddafi, and then open air slave trading started up for a few hundred bucks a person and no one talks about that fucking slavery but like hell yeah forgive the debt man it's fucking slavery dude what are you fucking like idiot so it's just a it's a that's what i think of every time i see i think that he yeah i don't know if this is a great thing i paid my college debt off cash it wasn't a lot but i still paid it so like am i gonna get some tax no you're not getting shit 